Hey everyone, you're watching the girls here on SSP TV. We have a great lineup for you. But first, what's new? What's new? Look at the schnazzy outfit on you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Can we look fancy? We went shopping this week yes. and we didn't have to go far. It was great for us. How about we live in Brook Hill and there's this cute little boutique that we visit and it's right in, if anybody ever remembers, my store picture perfect right at Route 93. I'm not there anymore, but the building is there and in the back side of the building on the upper level is this boutique yeah it's fashion called by bella boutique fashion by bella boutique so we were in there having such a blast shopping and they are sponsoring the fashions for us this season mm -hmm. and i some of the season some of the season right because mm -hmm. we discovered them yeah. uh we love to shop local mm -hmm. and this boutique is just the cutest because they have so many neat things in there, Jill. Yeah, they have, they have every everything. size. They have stuff for curvy women, skinny women, maybe you like kids. Um, yeah. Kids. They have uh, accessories if you need that. But they have new things every week. And, and they, they have, have all a, sizes. Right. And they have a website, which is great. And so not only um, are the clothes great, we're going to save you money because if you use our code, the girls 10 number 10 the girls 10 you will receive 10 percent off so there are three ways that you can actually buy you can go in the store and shop you can go on the website and shop or you can call and do a phone order which oh is wow cool too. that's cool yeah so michelle and angela will help you out angela's the manager michelle's the owner and um yeah it says use the code the girls 10 and you will receive some discounts. And let me tell you, even without a discount, their clothes are so affordable. They are. They're very well made. I have yes. this jean jacket on, and as I was saying before, it has like that little stretch, stretch. to it, so you're not like confined in that. It feels like a broken in thing that you'd want to just sleep in. It's so comfortable. You don't feel like you're in and a box. And it's so fashionable. Yeah. I'm going to stand up real quick because I'll put my mic over over here. I have a dress on that is the, uh, we call it the legally blonde dress. It's sleeveless. It's a sleeveless shift dress. You can see all the beautiful colors in. It's the Chanel look. So I just stuck some pearls on with it. But to make it my own, then I did the jean jacket. And you can accessorize in there. They're so helpful. Mm -hmm. They went in and just, I went in the dressing room and I picked out a few things. And then they said, why don't you try this? Or why don't you try that? So you know when you go shopping and you sort of like pick up the same thing all always. the time? Always. Always. It's always the same style. Mm -hmm. So they introduced me to a whole new look. Um, once they get to know your style, they actually order because they get new things every week. Yep. And so they order in things that they think you might like. If you request anything, they'll order it for you. But when you mention their names, mm -hmm. Michelle and Angela, that's who's there when you mm -hmm. go there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're so nice yeah. and they just take care of everything. And this is a little bit of what they have. So if you, you know, they have jewelry, they have sunglasses, they have purses. Oh, the little bags They have great. hats. Um, you know, so you have to check them out. Yeah, you can get gift so, certificates. You can. Yeah, and now Janine is going to be looking at the prices be with new glasses. Listen, I see. guys, you girls in your forties. <clears throat> uh, my vision is twenty twenty, but now mm -hmm. I got these readers. Oh boy, aren't they fashionable? And I can now see close. My problem is seeing close, and I'm told that's what ha that's what happens when you get older. I like to call myself more mature. More mature. You're aging and you're glad to be because mm -hmm. every year for the birthday, I say put every candle on because I deserve it and I'm very proud of it because the alternate is not being here. Yeah. So yeah, that's the good part. Okay. You have to have fun. And speaking about fun, when we come back, we have two gals on. We have Jen Gerhardt and we have Joanne Oakham and they are from the music ministry here at St. John Bosco Parish in the Valley and they are in charge of putting on a, mus a musical nonsense if you've heard, ever seen nonsense or heard about it whatever it's a comedy it's with nuns uh, as the stars in it and we're gonna have a lot of laughs so uh, get yourself a cup of coffee or whatever and join us stay with us we'll be right back Welcome back to the girls. We're up to nonsense here. We are with the two main uh, people from the actual musical nonsense that's going to be available here in our area. 
We're going to talk about who, what, when, where, and why. You could get all these tickets with Jen Gerhardt and Joanne Oakham. And thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule because I'm sure with all the practices and organizing of everything to get this musical going, it's crazy, right? It's very crazy. It's a lot of hard work, but it's very, it's so satisfying. It's so gratifying. Well, John, why don't you tell everyone who's watching about the uh, play itself? Like, we've heard about the famous play, Nonsense, before. What is the reason why you're having it and who came up with the idea? How, tell us everything about it. Sure. Well, Jen and I belong to the music ministry of St. John Bosco. Mm -hmm. And St. John Bosco Music Ministry, we are, we are looking to host Sarah Hart, who is a Christian musician. She does a lot of our, the music that we use at, at church. And she does workshops for musicians and who, who do church music. So we really wanted to have her come out and g give us a workshop. So of course that costs money. So we were bouncing ideas around with other choir members and um, two of the girls, uh, Barb Volusius and Karen Flannery, both decided that, um, or suggested that, why don't we do nonsense, right? We're, we're a group of people who like to sing. We're, we want to host a musician and, and you know, have her, her come and perform and, and do a workshop with us. And so we said, yeah, <laughs> and, um, you know, that's how it. That's how it started. It did evolve. We're all kind of theater. You know, we're, we're theater geeks. I am. Um, I run the theater program up at MMI Preparatory School. Fabulous. Yeah, we just got through um, Little Mermaid. I was so proud. We we did it after, after COVID the musical for the last three years. We were able to finally perform a, a musical. COVID the musical. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so it was wonderful. It was wonderful. So and then to have a group of of. Um, Barb and, and Karen, in particular, really love theater too, and love they do they perform with uh, local groups as well, and um, so it, it was just one of those. I could say this to you, to have, you know, the Mickey and Judy, come on, let's put on a show. You right. know, we have a barn, we have. So we we said, you know what, we have a gym at St. John Bosco. We have all these people who are musically inclined. Let's see what can happen. That yeah, was yeah, going to yeah. be my question about the production part of it, because mm -hmm. we know what it takes to have a set and to have the lights. So was it fun, and were you being creative with coming up how the set is going to look? Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very. I mean, the backdrop of Nonsense is actually a, a high school gym, so the gym at St. John Bosco voila. kind of is Correct. perfect. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So that way it kind of falls into place. And we have asked people that want to help with set design to come out and help us, so we're working on all that oh, now. Oh, they need any props because my basement is loaded with props. Oh, perfect. <laughs> well, then we'll, <laughs> well, we're gonna, we're, we'll, we'll go shopping. I have candelabras <laughs> from cathedrals. <laughs> oh, you oh, name it. Wonderful. Well, then we know where to go. Yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> and it's, it, what what I particularly liked about it too is it's an easy set. So it, it's it's and it's as easy or as hard as, as complicated as you want to make it. But it's set in a, in a high school or a grade school gym. Um, they're putting on a production of Grease, and the nuns come in, and they're doing a fundraiser. The nuns are doing a fundraiser. Jen, tell them why they're doing the fundraiser. Well. <laughs> Um, at the convent, Sister Julia, child, child of, of God, God, is their head chef, <laughs> and she serves some bad Vichy Spa soup, and she oh. killed 40 of the nuns, yeah. and they didn't have money to bury four of them, so they're currently in the freezer, oh, so they're waiting. In the freezer. They, so they buried doing, all of them but four. but four. But they're doing a fundraiser to raise money to bury the last four of their sisters, so that's what this is. That's, okay, that's, so this is sort of like a comedy. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's <laughs> totally, totally, oh, it's a comedy. Totally. <laughs> it's, it's very funny. Um, it, it's very funny. We have, there's, the, one of the characters is Sister Mary Amnesia. Amnesia. <laughs> Correct. Um, she, she doesn't know who she is. She does. She, crucifix fell on her head and she doesn't remember she who doesn't she is. She doesn't remember who she oh, is. Okay. And um, there is one, I, I urge everyone to go see this because there is one particular scene where she's, she's singing with a, with a puppet who's Sister Marionette. Sister Marionette. With a, is it you a sock? It? Yeah. It's no, Sister Marionette. It's, it's, oh, it's a real it's puppet. It's a nun. It's a nun, it's puppet. A nun puppet. Speaking about nuns, so both of you are in the play? I'm, yeah, well, yeah, we are. Yeah, I mean, I'm playing piano. I'm the musical director in, in, in the, the play, play as well. I'm but Sister you're Melodious. But you're wearing habits, I'm sure. Yes, yes we are. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay, yes. so any dirty habits? <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, but I'm not, I'm not gonna share them, but, but oh yeah. Um, but Jen is, yeah, Jen is Sister Melodious. We decided we we're gonna oh, call her Sister, Sister Melodious. Sister Melodious, because she plays a piano. Uh -huh. <laughs> and my, uh, my character is Sister Mary Hubert, who's the um, mistress of novitiates. So she helps all the, the young nuns coming up. So it's, it's You're wonderful. You're the mommy. I, one of them, no, 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 we have a Reverend Mother. Oh, okay. Karen Flannery is our Reverend Mother. Our Reverend Mother. So, and then there's a whole bunch of, just, just a whole bunch. It's, it's How many so people are fun. in the play? How old are they? Are they? Well, it's it's choir members, yeah. you know, and we have a couple of parishioners who are also in it. But we, but we've um, we've gotten um, the music ministry involved. So now, can I sing in it? <laughs> yeah, you can I be in the chorus. It. Absolutely. <laughs> you hearing, hearing that, guys? They never heard me sing yet. I, I sing loudly though. So see. Oh. Good, you could drown her out. You didn't say anything when I asked. <laughs> I, you just sat there and saw my face. I think everybody at home saw my face. And I you heard like, it. <laughs> Joanne said that I could sing in nonsense, so you definitely have to come out now and see it. Just and because then you she said you can doesn't mean you can sing. <laughs> well, in church when I sing and they're singing, I feel like I, I'm singing well. Oh, and then you they, notice no one sits near us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then when the music stops and you kind of hear yourself, Jeff kind of looks at me and goes, I said, what? I'm just partaking in Mass. Correct. Yeah, exactly. Listen, when you when you sing, you're praying twice. Right. That's what we say. Yeah. So and we're praying girl, three okay. times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia, to stop. Is that what you're yeah. saying? <laughs> she doesn't sing good either. By the way, go ahead. Oh. Give us a tune. La 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 la. Nice. See, perfect. Done. See, I'm perfect. You're in. You're, you're in. Go ahead. I'm in. La 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 la. Everybody can sing. You can do it. Do you I know think why? Rosie should sing. Uh, Rosie. La, 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 la. She's like, you know, mad at me because I put her in a dress today. <laughs> I'll take it off. But she looks fancy. You're working. She's bloated today. She doesn't want to dress up. <laughs> <laughs> All six pounds of Rosie. Are you bloated? <laughs> so we're going to, so you're having the play. Um, you've been practicing, rehearsing, whatever. As you said, most of the members are from the, uh, the parish, from the, the <clears throat> choir. Um, I think, were you looking for a man to play any parts? Do you have any well, males? Well, we do, we do, because okay. we do have um, male members Some of Some priests. That. Well, actually, yes. Sam Jr.'s free. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but we, we have, we've actually, um, we're, we're hopeful we're gonna get Father Sadir to-, to oh, oh my gosh, that would great. be great. Right? Love it. Okay, he would Father, be perfect. You're right. I know. I know, so fingers crossed. That's a good one. Yeah, okay, well, it. we're gonna have to butter him up. <laughs> I, I, think he, I think he likes ravioli and meatballs. So oh, good. <laughs> oh, he I didn't loves know that. Italian food. Oh, yeah. How do so. people who want to participate and come and support the event, how do they get tickets? How much are tickets? They All can, that fun stuff. They can contact the parish office at St. John Bosco. We'll put the number on the screen. Um, the tickets are $15 for reserved seating. That'll be in the front and nobody else can sit there. Ten dollars for adults, and then six dollars for children under twelve. Okay. And how many people does the auditorium seat comfortably, so that we know? Well, I I think that we could probably fit. Do you think two hundred? I think so. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's that's our hope, and that's our hope. Listen, it's a fun. It's just such a fun time, and that's what we want to do. We want to share something that we love, and this is such a different. It's it's just a different part of the music ministry, right? It's tongue in cheek. It's adult, I'm gonna tell you that, you know, but it's it's just so much fun and it's there's a little irreverence, but it's it's done with a lot of humor. Yeah. And you know, we just, we just, we're having a blast. So yeah. there'll be nice and cold drinks there. So, you know, have correct. some cake, oh, have some so cupcakes, have, have refreshments there. there available. Available. We'll have too. our nuns and, and priests selling baked goods. It'll be That's great. great. Yeah, that'll yeah. be great. It, Who's it, doing the bacon? Oh, the choir. Listen, you know our mi music ministry listen. bake sales are yeah, epic. They're, they are fabulous. epic. Yeah, they are. And oh my gosh, they are wonderful. Oh. Yeah. That, well, I know the bake sale that you had right before Lent started. I usually don't eat sweets, and my husband will say he doesn't eat sweets, but hello. He does. If you would see the stuff in our house and he eats. But anyhow, oh, so shh, don't we weren't going to get you. anything. And we're walking up the hall to go into church, and I saw all of these things. I thought, eh, you know, you want to give money to the church. Right. So, of course, we came out, and I bought all this stuff. And I gained four pounds before <laughs> Lent. Because, you know, going into Lent, you think, I have to eat something. Because then if yeah, I am it's our last it's hurrah like, before Lent. Yeah, That's what like, we call it's, it. It's like hibernation. Mm -hmm. you know? Correct. So you have to stock up on it. So, yeah. It was, <laughs> it but was, it was worth really it, good. though. Yeah, it was, it was really good. Those peanut butter balls. Who made those? Mm, they were remember. out of this world. Well, we'll have them at <laughs> well, the nuns. I still have them with me. <laughs> <We've got> <laughs>
<laughs> it's you'll listen. You'll 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 take it. Summer's off. coming. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're <laughs> good. It was great. So uh, tell us about the choir. Like, how many people do you have in the choir itself? Right now, well, we have two choirs. We have the adult choir, so there's 29 in there, and then we have children's choir. And this year we had 12 in the children's choir. We just got done. The children's choir sang for Mother's Day. Um, and a cantor choir. And we have a cantor choir. So um, I have 12 cantors, which are the people that do the extra masses every weekend. Every they're weekend. there all the time. Well, they're all dedicated. We're going to stop right here. We're going to take a quick break because when we come back, we have more to talk about with Jen and Joanne about nonsense. Stay with us. bunch of nonsense here on the girls we are here with the ladies in charge of the show that's going to be put on a musical at st john bosco church it's going to be held on june 9th 10th and 11th and we have joanne ockham with us and we are oakham and we have jennifer gerhard with us and they are really the two core people putting the show together but there are a lot of people helping out to make this possible a lot of behind the scenes like in our business we have yes. sam he's our behind the scenes yes. man yes yes um we have to we do have to say thank you to uh, joan hooper and ann bonacci from nuremberg players they've been wonderful they've been very helpful they have um they've helped us with costumes and even some props so yeah we're very grateful to them we have a lot of talented people in this community and sometimes we don't think of these places like the nuremberg uh, players to go see um listen you know you have all these little theaters right here even even as you know to jim thorpe area there's so many good little i have to tell you i moved i moved into this area uh 20 years ago from new jersey and we have there there are community theaters out there but i was so surprised at the amount of community theaters around here mm -hmm. it's wonderful and the talent and the talent the, the vocalists the musicians the uh talent with art it's and wonderful. Yes, very well, smart. I, and I encourage everybody just go see a go see a local show. You know, if 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 you love the theater, Broadway is expensive. Go and see. Well, seriously, that's, that's another thing. And I, you know, I recently posted about that on my Facebook about. Um, not to get on a tangent, but um, <laughs> I love Billy Joel. Oh, and I used Kirk. to sit in the front and pay the two hundred sum, and I thought that was a lot. Now he wants to charge three forty five to sit in the last row, and I said no. Support local. Go see some local I talent. I so agree. Support our local artists who starved through COVID and yeah. go see someone local and, and keep it with the people that just that actually, you know, need the money. Yeah. You know? Or yeah. easily entertained. Uh, yeah. But yeah, right? But there's so many good good there are. people out there. They so. are, they really yeah. are. And they are the people who um, are the hub of the community to begin with. So if you yeah. don't support that, then your community falls apart. But speaking of which, both of you are not only involved with St. John Bosco, but Jen, you're involved with the teaching as well? Yep, I'm a music teacher in the Hazleton Area School District. I teach fourth through eighth grade instrumental and choral. Wow. So. And that must be a hoot. It is, I love it. I'm, I'm at Heights Terrace, Maple Manor in West Hazleton. So I travel, I get you know different things every day, but the kids are great. Good, and you're looking for sponsors for this, for we the nonsense. Are. We're looking for sponsors for nonsense. Um, that could come in the form of a program ad, or if um, anybody's interested in um, sponsoring light and sound or anything like that, they can contact the parish office. That would be great. Oh, we would, yeah, we would so appreciate it. Again, this is a fundraiser for for the event that we'd like to host, mm -hmm. and um, it, it it it's expensive. Mm -hmm. And but also to that point, nonsense is is costly too. Mm -hmm. So you know we have right. to get we have to purchase the rights to do it, and you know we can't just decide we're going to do it. And you know, mm -hmm. I'm sure you don't have a big kitty with out of pocket money that you have at your disposal as well. So oh, you don't? Because I have a tree in the back. <laughs> My kids, my kids cry from it all the time. Oh, the tree. You guys, the tree's Mine, back there. Mine's <laughs> empty. <laughs> Mine's empty. It's crying right have now. It, you don't have it taken but. down. <laughs> but you have, as you said, lights, and um, then you have uh, we the have refreshments. Set. You have the costuming and everything else that goes, and you're going to have a lot of parking. St. John Bosco's great for yeah, that, all their parking that's it there. Is. So, And it's easily accessible. So that's the other the, the other thing. If anybody has, you know, um, Handicap. any handicapped, yeah, it's so easily accessible for everybody. So 
It is. It's very well uh, put together. They have the back entrance where they Correct. come in as well, which is a teeny step. And then, of course, the handicap is right in, wheeled in. Yep. And there are facilities there that you could use if you need a facility. And Correct. you'll have an intermission, I'm sure? Yes, we're going to have an intermission. Um, typically, it, usually they run about 15 minutes. So we'll, you know, we start the show at 7. So we anticipate people will be getting out of there by about Nine, nine o'clock. Oh, that's so. a good time. That's yeah. great because I go to bed at 10. So <laughs> perfect. I'm laughing because my dog is literally underneath the set with her toy pushing it against my foot. <laughs> <laughs> Pushing it. Come on, Mom. Like, this is done. This is Friday night. You're done. This is it. This is it, Mom. So, uh, sister. She's had it. Sister, what, what, she's are, had you gonna, it. are you going to audition for this? <laughs> Maybe, but can I mention that I'm honored to be having you guys perform at, perform, I should say, at my wedding. We are. At Jeff and my wedding. Yeah. And we're very excited. The first we ever are Cantor Choir appearance at a wedding, I Hold on say. one second. Did you mention Jeff's name in this one? Because it's usually Janine's wedding, Janine's wedding, Janine's wedding. I said Jeff. Jeff's my invited. Oh, so it's okay. Jeff and Janine's wedding. But he tells me, hun, do whatever you want. So... I'm listening. Oh, all right. said, do whatever you want. Yes, but right. you're getting married at St. John Bosco Church, and your choir is going yeah, to first sing. First time ever. How many, how many uh, choir members will be there? We have the Cantor Choir, so it's going to be 12. Wow. 12 ladies. I'm excited. Janine. I'm really, I know. And we're good, Janine. Yeah, oh, you are good. Are good. You, are, you are good. Have you gotten together and discussed we're all your gonna. music yet? I did we my, are going some to. of my oh, homework, okay. so we'll, we'll have to. I think we, we're going to suggest some Sarah Hart. We yeah. are suggesting oh, okay. Sarah Hart oh, stuff. Sarah. So you'll see what's coming in October when we bring her in. Yes, mm. I'm excited. It's now beautiful. I, she writes beautiful music. Okay. I know my husband loves to sing. Did he approach me? <laughs> <laughs> Every time he talks to us, he does. <laughs> Well, but we don't do Sinatra, so oh, thank God. <laughs> Is that how you get out of it? Because he'll take the mic at any party, and then the one time I recorded me goes, "Oh my God, do I sound like that?" I go, "Yes." <laughs> well, here's the thing. I wanted to get him into and um, what to call a habit. I thought maybe oh. we could play one of the nuns. We can dress him up we as can a do priest, Sister oh, Sammy. We could That'll dress him funny. up. Yeah, we could. Yeah. I think he, we make him a priest, and he takes tickets for us. He <laughs> wanted to be a priest. He always wanted to be a priest. Well, there we Did go. He? This is and his instead he married he me. It. So <laughs> he ruined it. I didn't ruin it. He saw me and decided. Oh, no, I think I'll choose her. <laughs> Oh, and that's what we do have to thank Father Rick. Oh yes, <laughs> before oh, we Father forget, Rick. yes, because he he okayed us doing this. Yeah. <laughs> We're not doing it renegade. No. So no, and he's been a great supporter. So and he he loves theater. So oh yes, he does. He's a great. And he loves yes, the music ministry. Does. Yeah, so it's like yeah. perfect for him. Yeah, yeah. he so. he loves all that. He's a perfectionist, and everything that he has at the church, we always say how beautiful he does it because he really puts his heart and soul into it as well. Yeah, he does. All right. Get well, tickets, I'm excited. I can't wait. Church, do you have tickets for us? The office. <laughs> Um, yes, they're at the box office. All right. I have them. And call the number, get involved. Again, support local. Come and see a local performance, and it'll be a good time. Nonsense. A lot of nonsense going on. They're going <laughs> to laugh as much as we laughed here. It's going to be a, a riot. It will be, I promise. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks again for taking time to come and share your uh, information with everybody. And we'll see you at Nonsense.